Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, it's a very happy uh, day for all the Egyptians. It's a day of proud uh, and uh, um, a great honor uh, as Egypt is today marking uh, the 41st anniversary of uh, the return uh, or the liberation day of uh, Sinai. Actually, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, have put a wreath of flower on the grave of the unknown soldier and the grave of the late President uh, Muhammad Anwar Sadat in this memory. Well, uh, to shed more light on uh, the Sinai Liberation Day, we have the pleasure to have this uh, uh, phone with General Muhammad Al Shahawi, strategic expert. Uh, uh, Muhammad Al Shahawi, Al Khabir Al Strategy. Sabah Al Khair, Yafandi. Ahlan Bik, Yafandi. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Uh, can we speak in English? Yes. Yes. Sure. Okay. So, uh, General Muhammad Shahawi, the strategic expert, uh, I really had the pleasure and the honor uh, to have you uh, over the phone. Well, um, uh, actually, this is a very important day for all the Egyptians. Uh, a day of dignity, a day of proud, uh, uh, a day uh, the, the the Egyptians uh, feel uh, and uh, the trust and the, the importance uh, and the strong uh, will of the Egyptian army. What would you say in this day? after 41 years of the liberation of Sinai? First, it is such an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be with you in this program, Breakfast Show. And yes, I'd sir. like to say the celebrations of the liberation of Sinai on the 41st anniversary coincides with many religious and the national occasions, as it coincides with the passage of 50 years since the victory of the 10th of Ramadan, which mm. paved the way to the complete return of Sinai on April 25th, uh, 1982. Also, it coincided with the Please Eid al Fet and the glorious feast of resurrection. May God bring it back to us and the Arabic nation with, with Godness, right, and the blessing. Yes, uh, so um, uh, General Shahawi, uh, today uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi have laid a wreath of flowers uh, on the grave of the unknown soldier and uh, also uh, on the wreath of flowers uh, uh, on the grave of uh, the late President uh, Muhammad Anwar al-Sadat. So as uh, the, the Sinai Liberation Day uh, is uh, on the 25th of April of the year 1982. Uh, Yes. 1982. Yes. Okay, that was uh, uh, in the era or the regime of uh, President uh, uh, Muhammad Hosni Mubarak. Uh, but actually, we would like to know the efforts that were exerted uh, uh, before uh, 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 with the, the late President Muhammad Anwar al uh, This is a very good question. Uh, uh, well, Egypt liberated its land, which is occupied in 1967 by all means of struggle from the armed struggle in the war of attrition, which it was lasted for more than 1,041 days, then the glorious October War in 1973, as well as with the political and diplomatic means, beginning with the arduous negotiation to separate forces in 1974 and 1975, then the combative talks that led to the framework for peace in the Middle East, which are Camp David Accords in 1978, followed by the signing of the Egyptian-Israeli Peace Treaty in 1979. After that, the liberation of Sinai from the Israeli occupation on April 25, 1925, uh, 1982, and then the liberation of the last spot in Sinai, which is Taba, on March 19, uh, 1989. So, I do like to mention that the Egyptian, the Egyptians fought two massive wars to reach April 25th, 1982. The first war was a war by weapons such as planes, cannon, artillery, infantry, an October war that lasted 16 days only. The second war was of massive of nervous and tension 
that lasted for three years after the peace treaty 1979 until we reached the play Yami, which is a herb word means on the seashore, where more than 3,000 Jewish extremists in the settlement gathered and declared mass suicide every half hour if the Israeli government did not back down from the withdrawal. Negotiation and contact took place and extremists gave up that imaginary suicide. Yes. Yes. So, you, um, uh, General Shahawi, uh, uh, we always, uh, uh, when it comes to Sinai, uh, um, our hearts, um, uh, you know, um, there's, uh, Sinai is a very precious uh, part of Egypt for all the Egyptians. Uh, maybe because uh, the, it was the land of sacrifices, the land of heroism, the land uh, um, uh, of uh, the sacrifices uh, yeah. and the lives uh, that uh, the uh, Egyptian army uh, have um, uh, um, sacrificed for the sake of our homeland. So, uh, uh, please talk to us about uh, uh, these sacrifices. Yes, I want to say the strategic importance of Sinai to Egypt. Yes, Sinai yes. is very important uh, uh, to Egypt for many reasons. The first one is that Sinai is Egypt's eastern gate on the continent of Asia. The second reason is that the land of Sinai has been a scene of military battles since ancient times. The third reason is that Sinai is a tourist attraction area and fourth, it represents as an important area for land reclamation and the cultivation due to the availability of underground. So the blood of martyrs was shed on this land and we liberate it from the Israeli occupation 1973 and decontaminated Sinai also from the terrorist groups. And I was to stress on the trick of the trade for victory in the war of tents of Ramadan and the liberations of Sinai for many reasons. The first one, the presence of great competent leaders led by the late President Mohammed Anwar Sadat, and we call him the hero of war and peace. Yes. Second, complete secrecy in all stages of preparations for war and the genius timing of the attack. Why 6th of October? Why uh, uh, 10th of Ramadan? Why 2 o'clock, the zero hour is 2 o'clock in the afternoon? The good training and the high morale of the army personnel and the determination to fight to liberate the earth and restore the neck the dignity of the country by every trick in the book. We do every possible means to restore our land. So the spirit of liberation of Sinai was the determination, the power, the high morale, and, and this spirit continued also until now to fight terrorism to make a development in Sinai. Do you know that Sinai, the armed forces and the Egypt established more than 460 uh, projects, national projects, yes. at cost 480 uh, billion pounds. For that reason, I want to say there are some lessons learned from these uh, uh, celebrations, celebra celebrations of, by the uh, 41st anniversary for liberation of Sinai. The first lesson is war never the goal of Egypt, but peace was the ultimate goal and the great goal. The second lesson, an epic restoration of Sinai is a model for restoring dignity and conquering despair. The third lesson is that the future of nation can only be achieved through sacrifices and the blood of martyrs. The less after that was Egypt has a strong army 
that is the shield and the sword of, the, uh, of this country. Finally, the Egypt's leader and its army knew the meaning of national sovereignty and the sanctity of the national soil and do not to neglect one inch of the soil of this dear country. Yes, uh, so uh, 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 General Shahawi, um, the armed forces, the Egyptian armed forces uh, uh, was uh, uh, keen to return every single point in Egypt. Uh, when uh, Sinai returned, uh, Taba was still occupied. But the Egyptian army with its will and with uh, diplomacy and coordination uh, were able to gain back uh, Taba and they did not leave any point of our lands. Uh, what does this show of uh, the keenness and the courage and the will of the armed forces? Uh, I think this is very important lesson that we learned it from the liberation of Sinai uh, that uh, the leaders of Egypt, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Muhammad Anwar al-Sadat, Hosni Mubarak, uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser, and the Egyptian army, the Egyptian armed forces, knows the meaning of the national sovereignty and the meaning of the soil of this land and the sanctity of the national soil. So they don't neglect only one inch of this dear land. For that reason, I want to say that uh, we defend our land, and the slogan of the armed forces now is one hand is carrying weapon and one hand is building. For that reason, the armed forces supervises. The armed forces supervises, and uh, it represented by the engineering authority of the armed forces supervises uh, of about 1,100 national uh, civilian uh, companies uh, and uh, it has maybe reached 5 million engineers, technicians, workers and manufacturers to build in all spots in, in Egypt. Uh, we know that in Sinai, this dear piece of land, spot of land, this uh, spot shaped by geography, recorded by, uh, by history, and by every track of the book, we restore each inch of it. Yes. So I want to say also, uh, the most important thing now is to support the national project in yes. Sinai. Yes, uh, of course, uh, uh, General Shahawi, the cities of uh, uh, in Sinai, the cities of Arish, Rafah, and Sheikh Zwayed uh, are witnessing uh, great development in sectors uh, of the construction, ag agriculture, uh, 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 and several fields. Uh, give us an idea about the national mega projects uh, and the uh, uh, projects that are taking place, development work uh, taking place in Sinai. Yes, I, I think, uh, as I said before, the slogan of the armed forces is one hand is carrying weapons and on the other hand is building. So the greatest celebration of the 41st anniversary of the liberation of Sinai is to support and we stand behind the armed forces and the civilian police. The development operations of North Sinai through the establishment of many, many mega projects. And we know that throughout history, Sinai played an important role as it was a route for armies and the land for battle. And as Sinai was a crossing point for the invaders, it was also a cemetery for them. And on its soil, the blood of martyrs was shed.
Yes, uh, so uh, the uh, construction and uh, the development uh, work in Sinai have turned the Sinai Peninsula, uh, Peninsula into a residential attraction. Uh, yes, so what's your comment on this? Uh, Egypt uh, uh, is planning to rehabilitate Sinai with more than 4 million persons from the valley and the delta. So we secure... Uh, we secure uh, Sinai by development, by as we build uh, housing. Do you know that there, in, uh, there are many national projects, for example, housing project, there was 47,000 47, uh, housing units and 3,300 Bedouin housing, and also uh, Egypt established and implemented five industrial zones in Bir al Abd, Kantara East, Central yes. Sinai, Abu Znima, and Arish. And also, uh, there, there, are, there were 450 wells were drilled on Sinai to cultivate and irrigate a lot of. Uh, of land in it. Yes, uh, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. Um, um uh, a month ago, uh, I have spoke about uh, the uh, that Egypt was able to eliminate terrorism in uh, uh, Sinai, and uh, describe terrorism as uh, uh, something uh, um, from the past, something that it is is not here anymore. So Egypt was able to er eliminate, completely eliminate terrorism. So uh, give us an idea about this, please. Uh, do you know, this is also uh, I wanted to stress about that. Uh, we know that uh, I wanted to mention some states. Uh, during the period from June 2013 to June 2017, there were 1,329 terrorist operations. By the efforts of the armed forces and civilian police, we eradicated, we eliminated, we destroyed all or most of these terrorist elements. For that reason, uh, Egypt fight terrorism by development and by military and security operations and during some operations or through some operations from this operations was eagle one and the two yes. operations and also what we call about r martyrs right one two and the three and finally what we call about comprehensive operations by 2018 all these operations eradicated and eliminated all and ended up all the terrorist groups. For that reason, during we eliminate, during we, uh, we, we destroy terrorism, we build mega projects on Sinai. Yes. For, for that reason, uh, I want to say also here, in state efforts for comprehensive development of Sinai, because Egypt deals with the development in Sinai as a national security issue, and the state's strategy focuses on implementing many unprecedented and gigantic projects on the land of Sinai in all fields. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, General Mohammed El Shahawi, strategic expert. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and I'm going to be back with you.